We are looking at the National Senior Certificate, Grade 12 Information Technology Exemplar, and this is Paper 1 from 2014. And we are currently looking at the second question of the paper, the OOP question, and this is the part 4 of this video series. In the first two parts, we were looking at our object. We created this object called a T-Real event with those attributes. We created these methods, a constructor, some accessor methods to get those attributes as well as a check for record which we used in the next video for a particular button and then we have a two string function which is going to display the results of those attributes so we created that object and we were using it in this form where we just load the values into an object the validate time we check to see if the information was valid and then we created another button dynamically and that button was going to display the new results based if these results affected the current record in other words there was a better time or a time that was the same and now for this video we're going to do question 2.2.3 and do the record status which is this part of here so if the current record was set in 2013 or 2014 we must display a message recent record otherwise it's old record so that's the scenario now i am only doing this in 2015 so i'm not going to do 2013 2014 i'm going to do 2014 2015 Okay, I've got license here because my video, I'm decided to do that because that's more recent. I've done, it's taken me a year to do this video. So I'm going to do 2014-2015 for our scenario. And we are going to check to see if it's, there's two examples here. So there, for example, is an old record. So that will display old record where this one, you see, although there's two records, the recent one was 2014. Um, so that makes it a recent record and all we're going to display is the recent record or old record after um, they have displayed this already uh, so we need to just double check we must remember that we can't just check if the year is equal to 2014 or 2015 because we are going to use if you if we go back to our, our event here we're probably going to use this get here function to get the year to find out what the year was but that year has been returned to as a string and the reason why it's returned as a string is because of that scenario when there's more than once um, here that that record was made so this record was done in 2009 but it was equaled in 2014 so I need to try and get that last little bit so I've got an idea of something that could work so let's have a go and see if we can get that done so when I click on this button I need to basically try to figure out that year. So I'm going to first of all have a variable for the year. Let's call it the, the, the year. So let's call it S year, which will be the string for the year. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to extract that here. So S here is going to be the value that is returned from my object, boys relay dot get the year. So that could end up looking anything like, it could say 2015 as a string, it could say 2009 semicolon space 2014 or something like that. Could be anything like that. So how do I know what how to get where the last year is? How do I get that part in? So I'm going to actually use a pos. If you remember the pos function, I'll just recap it quickly for you. If you say pos and then you put a string like a comma, and then you put another string, let's say S here. Let me do that for example. That is a function. It's going to return something. It's going to return the position of that string, the comma, in S here. If it's not there, it'll be a zero. But if it's the first time it finds it is at position three, then it'll return a, a three. So it returns a number. The where that string, the first string, is contained inside the second string. So that's a recap of our pause works. So I'm going to use pause. So I want to check 2014 first. I'm going to check the position of the text 2014 in S here. Now if it is in there, it will return some sort of um, number that is not zero. So as if that is not equal to zero, remember not equal to is that symbol. Should I write like a diamond? It looks like a diamond. That is the scenario when if 2004 is contained in S here. If it is somewhere in S here, then it'll obviously be a recent record. The other option, or we could have it that the position of 2015 
in S year. Remember, in S year is the current of the year that we use the get year there. That's that accessor method to get the year attribute. That could also be not equal to zero. Any of those scenarios could happen. Now it's giving me errors, and that's because with the moment you use all or and, you must put your two conditions in their own separate brackets. Don't forget that. So let's just do that. Like that. There we go. So if that's true, if the position of 2014 in SEA is not a zero, or the position of 2015 is not a zero, that means there is a 2014 or 15, 2015 inside the SEA um, value or the attribute. And if that's true, well, then we want to display. So red output dot lines dot add, and we want to display recent record recent record and if it's not that well then obviously it's an old record so then I can just say red output dot lines dot add old record very easy huh? nothing too complicated there nothing too complicated so let's have a look and see if that works if we looked at the, the over here do you see there's a little space over here between that and that so maybe just to be sure, I'm just gonna put in a blank line over here. So read output dot lines dot add. This is I'm gonna put in a blank string. That is purely so that I can get because this would have already been displayed. So then I'm just gonna display a blank line and then say recent record or old record. So let's have a look and see how it works. Let's see if it runs first of all. Do you see there are no errors? Yes, no errors. So we're gonna first click on the record holder. We can't do that button until we've clicked on that. And we can't do that button until we click on that. There we go. So there's a new record. So obviously that will be a new record. So we click on record status. And it says recent record. Great. Now if I close this and let's run it. Again, let's do this. And let's make a time that is not the same. It's, it's a worse time. So we validate the time. Yes, we check the record it doesn't affect that time but now if I check the record status you see it's still 2009 old record so there we go so just to recap what we've done in this entire question we first of all created our object uh, remember we used those files because we needed to use date functions and interstring in that in uh, inside here so we use those libraries created our object created our private attributes created our public methods like the constructor accessor methods and auxiliary functions and we decoded them then when we went to our main program we first included the file which is that class event we created a t relay event object that's global so that we could use it for all the questions and the first question we simply populated that object with data using this constructor and we displayed it then the validate time, this was the tricky one, where we first had to check that that time was a valid time, that it was numerical, it was a valid number, otherwise we gave invalid time. If it was a valid time, then we had to dynamically create a button, which is what we did there, and those were the properties of that button. And we said when you click on that button, it was going to run this method, the BTN check status. So we had to go create that BTN check status, and we did that over here. And in that, we just use the check for record method that we created in our first bit in the class event and to check if it's valid. And then we simply displayed the information. Fantastic. And then lastly, what we did in this video, we extracted the year attribute by using the accessor method there, get here. We then checked to see if there was a 2014 or 2015 somewhere in that year attribute because it's a string. Because it could have been just like that. It could have been like a combination of years. So if it existed somewhere in there, it would then display recent record, otherwise old record. So there we go. That's a recap of question two of the exemplar. Hope this has been useful. So hopefully you can get something out of it. And hopefully it's been a good enough example for you to try out.
If you're looking for some refresher videos on objects and as well as other stuff to do with RT and some stuff even on CAT, please go to our website. This website that I'm showing you there is predominantly for RT, but we've got tons of videos for CAT on our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter and you can see whenever we update new videos. We'd love to hear from your comments. Our website, which is just for grade 12 and grade 11 at the moment, we're going to be populating with more grade 11 content, but there you can see the grade 12. Um, so go to our website, we'd love to see what you think about it. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.